Hello everyone. This is a special lecture on Docker volumes and concept and demo. And in this lecture, we are going to learn what is Docker data persistence, you know. So, so far we have seen that, you know, the containers, the Blazor containers that we have done so far in this course by running the images, you know, to create containers at runtime on uh, Visual Studio. If you kill those containers, if you remove those containers, so the data within those containers are also removed or destroyed. So by default, all files stored within a container are stored in a writable container layer. And this is the picture of the host in which the container takes a small place and it has got a data within a writable container layer. All right. So this is the host is the host computer basically. And hence when a container is no more in existence, its data also disappears and it's difficult to get the data out of the container if another process needs it. So in comes the volumes for addressing the data persistence issues in the Docker. So we'll be talking about volumes. So what are the volumes? Volumes are the preferred mechanism for persisting data generated and used by Docker containers. In production scenarios, we want the data shouldn't be lost even when the containers are removed because that's of no use if the data is also destroyed when the containers are removed okay, or deleted. So to address that problem, as I have told that the volumes are volumes come to our rescue and the volumes help in creating more containers with the existing data. Should the, one of the existing containers get crashed or it is nowhere in existence. So unless you delete the volumes, the volumes that are mount that are bound to the um, container that has crashed or that has uh, been removed, it is not existing, is can be bound to another, can be used in creating more containers, new containers. Okay, They also enable to share data between containers and so there are some summary of uses of volumes. It actually helps in decoupling of containers from the storage or the data and it shares stores data among several containers and on deleting container volume does not get deleted. Okay. So now here are some basic docker CLI means command line instruction commands. So docker v minus v means this is the flag for the version. So if, if the docker desktop remember the docker desktop for windows is a must prerequisite for running any docker images or containers. So you need to have so just to check which docker desktop version you've got. So this has got 20.10.8 build so and so. Okay. Now the docker volume is the command for um, getting all the volumes. So you have got uh, these are the commands the in place of command you will fill docker volume create or inspect create is creating a volume inspect is display the detailed information on one or more volumes ls is list of volumes and prune is remove all unused local volumes and rm is the command for removing one or more volumes okay so if you run docker volume command dash dash help so if you write docker volume instead of command you replace it with any of these commands create inspect etc and then double hyphen help it will give you more information on the commands so let's see some practical experience practical um, commands running on the our uh, windows command prompt or windows powershell okay so let's switch over to a windows command prompt now i have opened up the windows command prompt in the normal mode, no need to put it in the administrative mode. So, and I have actually changed the properties and made the screen blue and the font size as large. So you can do that if you are not sure about that by right click and properties and you can change the cursor size. You can change the font small, medium, large. Okay. 
and uh, you can change the layout um, so and colors so screen background is this blue color and this screen text is yellow so docker let's start inspecting docker volume ls list of volumes that i've got i've got a already my volume i have created so okay that was previously and let's do some docker volume inspect so this docker volume inspect so i forgot to write the name of my volume so docker volume inspect my vol okay so it was created at this time and local driver labels this mount point in my wall options you know whatever and scope is local okay so this is the if you inspect the volume it looks like this and you can always prune it docker volume prune my I, i'm just to show you the commands so it will say that docker volume prune so docker volume prune accepts no argument docker volume prune okay then i am just learning as i am doing okay let's take this approach docker volume prune so it will say a warning this will remove all the local volumes i don't want to remove the only volume that i have created so i will say no and then i can just list it up again uh, inspect or uh, docker volume ls so my volume is still there and i can remove the docker volume docker volume um again help command to see okay rm so docker volume docker in order to remove a volume docker volume rm my wall okay i will not remove but it will give it a prompt so it has actually removed so anyway now i will show you docker volume create then we'll again recreate docker volume ls to first list no volumes so docker volume create my wall all right so it will create my wall so if you again test it with docker volume ls so my wall is there so we'll use this my wall right